The Los Angeles Chargers and the Carolina Panthers face off in Week 2. Both teams are looking for their first win of the season. This game could set the tone for the rest of the year. A loss for the Chargers, considered playoff contenders, would be a major setback. The Panthers, on the other hand, are looking to build momentum. A win against a strong Chargers team would be a statement. It's still early in the season, but this game has huge implications. The Chargers boast a high-powered offense led by quarterback Justin Herbert. Herbert is known for his rocket arm and ability to make big plays. The Panthers counter with a young and talented defense. They are led by Brian Burns, a force off the edge. The Panthers' offense is centered around running back Christian McCaffrey. McCaffrey is a dual-threat weapon who can run and catch the ball. The Chargers' defense will have their hands full trying to contain him. This matchup features a contrast in styles making for an exciting game. The Chargers are coming off a tough loss to the Miami Dolphins. They struggled to contain the Dolphins' explosive offense. The Chargers' offense showed flashes of brilliance but couldn't do enough to secure the win. The Panthers also lost their season opener against the Atlanta Falcons. The Panthers' defense struggled to stop the run, allowing the Falcons to control the clock. Their offense couldn't find a rhythm and struggled to put points on the board. Both teams are looking to bounce back from disappointing performances. Justin Herbert is the key to the Chargers' success. His ability to read defenses and make accurate throws will be crucial. Keenan Allen, the Chargers' star receiver, is another player to watch. For the Panthers, all eyes will be on Christian McCaffrey. His ability to break tackles and make big plays is essential to their offense. Brian Burns is another key player for the Panthers. His ability to pressure the quarterback will be crucial in disrupting the Chargers' passing attack. Section 5. Battle in the Trenches – Offensive Line versus Defensive Line In football, the game is often won or lost in the trenches, where the offensive and defensive lines clash on every play. This battle is not just about brute strength, but also about technique, strategy, and endurance. The battle in the trenches will be a key factor in this game. The offensive line's primary job is to protect the quarterback and create running lanes for the running back. They must work as a cohesive unit, communicating effectively to pick up blitzes and stunts from the defense. On the other hand, the defensive line aims to penetrate the offensive line, disrupt the quarterback, and stop the run. This constant push and pull between the two lines can dictate the flow of the game. The Chargers' offensive line will need to protect Justin Herbert and give him time to throw the ball. Herbert is known for his strong arm and quick decision-making, but he can only be effective if he has a clean pocket. The offensive line must be vigilant, as even a momentary lapse can lead to a sack or a hurried throw, potentially resulting in a turnover. The Chargers' offensive line has shown improvement this season, but they will face a tough test against a formidable Panthers defensive front. The Panthers defensive line, led by Brian Burns, will be looking to get pressure on Herbert and disrupt the Chargers' passing attack. Burns is a dynamic pass rusher with a quick first step and a relentless motor. He can change the course of a game with his ability to get to the quarterback. The Panthers' defensive line must work in unison, maintaining their rush lanes to prevent Herbert from escaping the pocket and making plays on the run. Their success in pressuring Herbert will be crucial in limiting the Chargers' offensive production. On the other side of the ball, the Panthers' offensive line will have their hands full with the Chargers' defensive front. The offensive line must be disciplined and physical, winning their individual matchups to give their quarterback time to make plays. They also need to open up running lanes to keep the Chargers' defense honest. A balanced attack will be key for the Panthers to keep the Chargers' defense off balance and guessing. The Chargers have a talented defensive line that can get after the quarterback and stuff the run. Players like Joey Bosa and Linville Joseph are game changers who can dominate the line of scrimmage. Bosa, with his combination of speed and power, can wreak havoc in the backfield, while Joseph's strength and technique make him a force against the run. The Chargers' defensive line must be aggressive and disciplined, maintaining their gaps and executing their assignments to shut down the Panthers' offense. The Panthers will need to establish the run early to have success on offense. A strong running game can control the clock, wear down the defense, and open up opportunities in the passing game. The offensive line must be physical and relentless creating holes for the running backs to exploit. Establishing the run will also help to neutralize the Chargers' pass rush, giving the quarterback more time to make plays. The battle in the trenches will be intense, and the team that can control the line of scrimmage will have a significant advantage in this matchup. 
Section 6, Air Raid versus Ground and Pound Offensive Strategies. In this section, we delve into the contrasting offensive philosophies that define the modern game of football. The air raid offense, characterized by its emphasis on passing and the ground and pound approach, which focuses on a strong running game, offer unique challenges and opportunities for teams. The Chargers are known for their high-flying passing attack. This strategy allows them to stretch the field and create big play opportunities. By spreading out the defense, they can exploit mismatches and find open receivers downfield. Justin Herbert is one of the most talented young quarterbacks in the league. His strong arm and quick decision-making skills make him a perfect fit for the Chargers' offensive scheme. Herbert's ability to read defenses and make accurate throws under pressure is a key component of their success. He has a plethora of weapons at his disposal, including Keenan Allen and Mike Williams. Allen's precise route running and Williams's ability to make contested catches provide Herbert with reliable targets. This dynamic duo, along with other skilled receivers, makes the Chargers' passing game one of the most potent in the league. The Panthers, on the other hand, rely on a more balanced offensive attack. They aim to control the clock and wear down defenses with a strong running game. This approach allows them to maintain possession and keep their defense rested. They want to establish the run with Christian McCaffrey. McCaffrey's versatility as both a runner and a receiver out of the backfield makes him a dual threat. His ability to break tackles and gain yards after contact is crucial for the Panthers' offensive success, and then use play-action passes to keep the defense guessing. By faking the run, they can draw defenders in and create open passing lanes. This strategy keeps the defense on its toes and opens up opportunities for big plays downfield. The contrast in offensive styles should make for an interesting chess match. The Air Raid's emphasis on speed and precision will be tested against the ground and Pound's focus on physicality and ball control. Each team will need to execute their game plan flawlessly to come out on top. The outcome of this battle will depend on which team can impose their will and adapt to the challenges presented by their opponent's strategy. This clash of philosophies is what makes football such a compelling and unpredictable sport. Section 7 defensive showdowns, stopping the run and the pass. In this section, we delve into the strategies and challenges faced by both teams as they prepare to halt their opponent's offensive threats. The Chargers' defense will have their hands full with Christian McCaffrey. Known for his explosive speed and agility, McCaffrey is not just a threat on the ground, but also a significant danger in the air. His ability to catch passes out of the backfield makes him a dual threat that can disrupt any defensive scheme. McCaffrey is a versatile running back who can hurt defenses in both the running and passing game. His vision and quick decision-making allow him to find gaps in the defense, making him a constant headache for defensive coordinators. Whether it's a screen pass or a handoff, McCaffrey's presence on the field demands extra attention. The Chargers will need to find a way to contain him. This means not only focusing on their tackling techniques, but also ensuring that their defensive line maintains discipline and gap integrity. Linebackers will need to be quick to react and safeties must be ready to provide support in both run and pass coverage. On the other side of the ball, the Panthers' defense will need to find a way to slow down Justin Herbert and the Chargers' passing attack. Herbert, with his strong